Hello and welcome to the IoT projects. In this video, I am going to teach you how to connect RFID to PHP and MySQL database with Node MCU ESP8266. Here, I have interface RFID RC522 module with a Node MCU ESP8266. And then I am sending the data of RFID to the MySQL database through the wireless connection. Actually, we are just reading the serial data coming from the node MCU ESP8266 and then publishing that to MySQL database through the Python code. I will also teach you to deploy the PHP web app. Unlike other, this project is portable because we can access the data from any device connected to the internet. So, this project is designed to store the credential of users. It can be used in school, colleges or in an industry to store the data of students and employees. We can also make the IoT based smart attendance system using this project with few modifications. Now without wasting any time, let's get started with this project. First of all, the requirements for building this project are Node MCU ESP8266 development board, RFID RC522 module with few RFID card and keychain, mini breadboard but it's optional, few jumper wires, you will need a jump server, PHP web app codes that are available on the description below and the final program sketch. First of all, let's get started with the jump Apache and MySQL server from its control panel. Now copy the downloaded PHP web app script and paste it under the C drive jump stdocs folder. If you already have done that, let's open the database.php file in any text editor. Here I am going to use notepad++ and create a database as shown in the dbname field. Now open your favorite web browser and then open the PHP MyAdmin page by typing the localhost in the URL section. Here you need to create the database with the same name that is provided in dbname field. Now import the MySQL database tables to the database that we have recently created. Again go to the privilege section and add a new users to the database as shown in the video. Now our PHP web app is completely ready. Now let's open the URL to see if we have any errors. I think you will not face any errors if you follow all the steps provided in this video. Now we can also deploy this web app to the hosting services as I did it for demo purposes. You can go to the IoT RFID dot the IoT projects dot com URL to access it from anywhere in the world. Now let's interface the RFID RC 522 with node MCU8266. The wiring is very simple. You can see the schematic and connect the GPIO pins to the respective pins of RFID. You can see on the screen as well. Now let's get into the coding part. If you are running a ESP8266 node MCU board for the first time, then you need to add the board manager to the Arduino IDE. So follow this procedure to get started. 
go to the file preference and paste the url provided in the description go to the tools board manager and then search for esp8266 here you scroll down and install the latest esp8266 board manager from esp8266 community here you will get the library files as well now choose your esp8266 node mcu board also choose the port for node mcu so most of the people will face the port problem on node mcu8266 if you can't see the port go to the device manager and then see the com port for node mcu you can update the driver if you see any warning sign but windows 10 will automatically detect it and download the latest driver so if you have any problem please let me know in the comment section below so i have already explained the code to make this video short and sweet i have added the com comments on each and every lines of code if you have any doubts or queries feel free to ask me on the comment section below now here you need to add your wi-fi ssid that is wi-fi name and password you can also use your mobile Wi-Fi hotspot if you don't have Wi-Fi connection or Wi-Fi router in your home. Now, scrolling down, paste the IP address with your own PC IP before address. To know your local IP of your PC, open up the CMD command prompt and type ipconfig and hit the enter. And you will see the, your local IP address in your ip before uh, address section now upload the code to your node mcu esp8266 and then our project is ready now let's see the demo video of our project was the tutorial guys if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and keep 